Hello everyone. Well, we're back uh, playing with the uh, engine mill. Uh, I wanted to show you just how that uh, versatile the machine is. I have a, a small turning job here that needs to be done. And with the 5C collets, uh, anything that's the, the correct size, you can use that as a, as a chuck to hold your work. Uh, I haven't made a, a tool post, a proper tool post for this machine yet. This is just a piece of scrap that was laying around from another job. But it, uh, anything that you can bolt to the table to hold your knife, uh, you're set to go. And uh, it doesn't really matter what height it is because you've got height adjustment on your, uh, on your milling table. Anyway, this was at uh, one time it was an arbor for something uh, long since past. Don't know what it's for. Got out of the scrap box. But I find that I need an arbor for um, a, uh, a little job that I've got to do. I've got here, uh, it's a carbide toothed uh, blade. This blade came from one of those biscuit jointers. And uh, for aluminum it works very well. But I need an arbor to mount it on for a little uh, slitting job that I've got on the, uh, to do uh, on my latest project. So I'm going to modify this uh, this arbor so that uh, it'll hold the uh, the uh, biscuit saw. And uh, basically, we'll just get get going with it, and you'll be probably surprised at how well it works. Now there I'm taking a 40 thou cut and uh, you can see you don't have any chatter, cutting quite smoothly. Now while the horizontal milling machine doesn't make an ideal lathe in a pinch, you can, uh, you can do small jobs with it and uh, get done what you need to be done. Let's take a little facing cut off of this now. And there we go. Not too bad for uh, a uh, just a home-built piece of equipment for doing small jobs. Now, of course, I'll have to change my tooling on here. I'll have to chamfer out this hole a little bit, and I'll have to uh, uh, cut it back a little bit and just leave an edge here so I get a good grip on the uh, leave a shoulder right about from here on, so I get a good grip on the uh, on the saw. Anyway, there we go. Uh, in a pinch, you can use a horizontal milling machine, any horizontal milling machine, uh, for a lathe. And uh, in this case, well, it's my home-built machine, but um, quite versatile. And I'll have some other other jobs that I'll be showing uh, a little bit later on. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.